Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Certainly the country uh, is seeing some extremely hot temperatures in the west and the southern plains, while more rain fell across the northern Midwest into the Great Lakes area. Um, there was yesterday a um, forecast on a 6Z map that showed a ridge of high pressure in the first week uh, in the western Midwest and the southern plains. It then amplified and moved into the east um, and got into most of the Corn Belt. Um, the Zero Z um, map this morning is not as intense and it doesn't move the ridge as far east. Um, so we're still looking at 100 degree temperatures uh, over the next couple of weeks across parts of the Southern Plains, uh, maybe parts of Nebraska, uh, into Missouri and the east and the western part of the Delta. But we don't really right now see that temperatures uh, in Illinois yet. So we'll have to keep watching uh, the ever-changing uh, European and uh, American ensembles and where this ridge actually uh, puts in. Um, the second thing is that when the Russians um, bombed Odessa port. There was talk about corn and, and wheat futures being up the limit today. Um, it came out that they uh, hit a Ukraine war uh, ship um, that had some Western uh, weaponry on it and that there was no damage done to the port uh, or the elevators. Still, there's a lot of logistics that have to be um, worked on to get vessels of grain out of Ukraine. The agreement is Ukraine versus the UN, with the UN, and Russia with the UN. Russia continues to say that they're not responsible for food shortages. Um, Ukraine obviously would like to see some exports so they have uh, revenue. Uh, but I think the big question mark is just how much grain over the next uh, three months, um, where the PAC is uh, supposed to expire, uh, will actually be shipped out. So we're watching weather pretty closely, the impact that it may have on U.S. crops. We would expect uh, beans and corn crop ratings maybe come down a little bit today. Uh, still exports, uh, especially beans to China, is a question mark, uh, which offers some offsetting uh, resistance to any weather rally. But a, but a bean crop one bushel below uh, USDA's numbers would reduce supply by 150 million bushels. And I think that's a big thing. Uh, Europe, still mostly dry, uh, seeing the Mativ corn trade higher versus U.S. futures because of talk about a lower corn crop there and higher imports. And the market is still in question just how much Black Sea, especially Russian wheat, will be exported. It's not the 40 million tons of Russia wheat that uh, USDA is saying. So as always, uh, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM, Aid Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated. This week is also a big week for the financial markets, with the Fed meeting on Wednesday uh, and raising rates maybe as much as 75 basis points.